know that I should be talking to my dad about this kind of stuff, but considering he's not here and I'm pretty much on my own, I'm out of ideas when it comes to my family. Why don't you tell your story to my Uncle Morris? See what he has to say. What did Jeweler know about cloak and dagger government stuff? Uncle Morris served in Mossad. <laughs> He's a secret agent, and, and you're telling me this now? It's a secret, yeah. Dude, talk to him at dinner. Right, which I gotta get started on. You're making dinner? Got a problem with that? You burned everything. Well, at least it's food. Here, rot your mind a while. <sighs> In our contact segment tonight, we're once again joined via the crypto hippie dark net by General Jack Gurdon of the Revolutionary Agorist Cadre's Tech Strike Division. General, let me ask the question that's most asked on MonahanScott.com whenever you appear on this program. Why shouldn't my viewers regard me as giving airtime to a terrorist? Well, that's simple, Scotty. The revolutionary agorist cadre does not commit acts of terrorism. We act solely in defense of our business clients. We have the right to engage in free trade without being molested by corrupt tyrants, thieves, and prohibitionists. Yet you freely admit to cyber attacks on the U.S. government's electronic records, most recently those of FEMA, destroying surveillance cameras, polluting the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, hijacking military weapons transports that protect this nation's borders, and releasing all military personnel unharmed. Don't forget to mention that part. So you're saying that all of your terrorist attacks are just fine because you're not a murderer. We're saying that FEMA is a terrorist organization. We at Cadre are acting within the guidelines of the Declaration of Independence. We defend our clients' right to life liberty in the pursuit of happiness. And if we accidentally damage something or harm someone, we don't make the excuse of collateral damage the way the government does. We don't hide behind sovereign immunity. We instead arbitrate the damages like any other good neighbor. Well, I am stuffed. A nice job on the dinner, by the way. Oh, yeah? Not too burnt for you? <laughs> Elliot. Uncle Mo's special cider. Chaim. Chaim. Mm. You know this is from Carmel, Israel? It's where I grew up, just southwest of the Golan Heights. You know, my Uncle Morris and my dad had their own apple orchard. We used to drink this stuff every single night with dinner. Yeah, that was before, um, his parents died in a bus explosion in Tel Aviv. Zechonam Lebracha. Sorry to connect everything, but have you considered that your family might be already dead? I can't believe that the president would kill my family in cold blood because my dad criticizes policies. The decision doesn't have to come from the president. Sometimes a rendition gets out of hand. I want you to face the possibility. Even though there are sound reasons that they're probably still alive. I understand, but what do you suggest? I think you already know. Your cadre. Yes. The chairman doesn't really like to take uh, cases of this sort, but considering that your father was at stake, he decided to help. Chairman? Of the revolutionary agorist cadre. You are being shipped out to auxiliary tonight. Scuba gear. Claustrophobic. Agoraphobic. Philip, can you hang on to something for me? Keep it safe? Sure. I'll hang it in my closet for safekeeping. All right. Thank you, sir. Shalom, Yitcha. Good luck, bro. Bye-bye. Whew.
not on the female most wanted list. So nobody uses real names around here. You can call me Goldman. Password? Swordfish. Dr. Goldman. How are you, Danny? Good. You're cleared through to registration. Thank you. How's your granddaughter? Uh, she just got a full ride to George Mason. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Goldman. I'll buzz you in. Here we are. Have a seat. The computer will guide you through the registration process. I'll be back in 30 minutes. All right. Laissez faire, now lie. Welcome to Auxiliary. We hope your stay with us is pleasant and profitable. Before the cadre can do any business with you, you must agree to a general submission to arbitration. Please touch the screen to continue. He's your brightest student? He's brilliant, Jack. I'm telling you. Put him through George Mason, I think he'd outpace even his father. He's barely 16. Joan of Arc was leading armies into battle at 16. That feels safer using Lorimer. She's already proven herself as an operative. If her name pops up on the FEMA arrest list, we might be able to use Deanne and Elliot as our Trojan horses for a raid on Utopia. But as of now, Major Chen, this raw recruit is your only way into FEMA's domestic Guantanamo. Murray, you tell him about it? I will. And you're right, he's our man, even if he's just a kid. Better to let Lorimer be his handler. 